Hi, I'm Rock. I'm Terry. And we're from Blue Finger Productions. Terry, I'm always waiting for you to help me with that. Oh, Blue Finger, Blue Produc Finger Productions. Ah, uh, you're too late and a dollar short. What okay. can I say? What are we going to do today, Terry? Do you know? Yes, I know exactly what we're doing, Rock. Uh, we are going to demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I didn't ask you to take my spokesman. Oh, drop. sorry. I just wanted to know. If you knew. <laughs> No, what are you going to, go ahead, finish it up. Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to show you how to use ordinary things that you might throw into the trash to use to make art backgrounds. That's right, Terry. And we're going to show you a few things that we have that we're going to use. Uh, for example, you might have these gift cards. Uh, this one was from Starbucks. Sometimes you get Victoria's Secret, but save those credit <laughs> cards because you can use these as great edgers. I'll show you. Uh, here's some white paint in a lid, and if you just put it on your paper and drag it, it makes a design so that'll work on your background. Another thing that's really terrific, this is from Terry. This is the inside of a scotch tape that the scotch tape's wrapped around and when your thing is empty it makes this great double circle. Oh my god, I love this. That's, that's so cool. Terry is not giving this to me even though I begged no, for it. No, it's like no, 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 no. And uh, Hot Lips Hulahan behind the camera <laughs> stole this from McDonald's. Shh, don't Shh, tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. I couldn't resist. But this makes terrific circles. Look at that. That's awesome. I love the simple circles. things. I mean, the simplest little things. This is, um, oh, why can't I think of it? Bubble, Bubble wrap. wrap. Yeah. And if you just use that with a little bit of tapping, voila. Voila. So if you don't have Punchinella, I'm sure you can get your hands on some bubble wrap. You could. That's. I mean, even when you mail your mail art, most times you have a little piece, and you don't need a big piece. Mm -mm. This particular thing came inside some packaging that was sent to me in the mail. It was to hold an object in place, but I thought, oh, a square. I have all these circles, but I don't have any squares. So get this, okay. Rock is coveting my scotch paper roll and I am coveting that little square. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told her I'd cut it in half and share it with her, but that's not good enough. She wants the whole thing. <laughs> okay, this, some tape came Martha Stewart. This was the packaging inside a Martha Stewart thing where she had little paper tape rolls and they were lined up on that, but this makes great circles. That makes awesome circles. That's, that's good. But, you know, toilet roll holder, paper towel holder. Absolutely. They make good circles. Uh, this particular thing I'm bringing over here, this was, I think, from the Olive Garden, our Panera bread for the salad dressing. You can use that. Absolutely. For circles. And, you know, you can either dip um, right into your paint or you can use a paintbrush. Paintbrush, right. Corks work great, and each end makes a different, a different pattern where the paint will stay on. But you could even take an X-Acto knife and etch out here to make little like line designs or something like that. Yep. So just to show you, we did a few things. This particular paper is the deli paper that I make so much of. But here is an example of what you could end up with for some artwork if you took it a step further. A little stamped image that I painted in with watercolor and uh, added some wings, little marker, and there you have a great little background to use in your art. Yep, use it for ATCs, use it for postcards, use it for a journal page. But again, take a look at all of the objects that you throw out because even the lid from a water bottle can be used. I mean, exactly. there's so many different things. You don't have to go and spend a lot of money to get great results. No, you don't. So I hope that we opened up your eyes to the world of things that are free. Use them in your art. Make a great page. Have fun trying it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.